Oh my god. People, this movie is amazing. Oh my god, where, where do I begin? An action movie that you can tell what's going on. It's not like Transformers where it's just garbage on the screen. No, no, no. This, this movie is just, it's so magical. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so good, it's so good. George Miller is back, directing action again, and it's, there's no shaky cam. Oh my god. This is what we need, people. This is what we need in action movies nowadays. Oh my god. Everything about this movie works. Tom Hardy as Mad Max was awesome. I thought he lived up well expected to Mel Gibson. Nicholas Holt was actually really good as Nux. He was really cool, I thought. But the show stealer throughout the whole entire movie was Furiosa, played by Charlize Theron. Oh, what a day! What a lovely day! Wanna get through this? Go. The reason why I'm not describing the plot is because I don't want I don't want to describe that much of a movie for you that everybody should go see. Everybody should watch this movie. Basically what I am going to say is that Furiosa Charlize Theron's character is traveling to a place that she really wants to go and Mad Max gets caught up with all of it and now crazy people are after them. That's it. That's that's it. That's all I'm going to tell you about the plot. That's it. But oh my god, there's just so many great things. This movie is just awesome. Oh, this is by far the best movie I have seen all year long. I mean, I have I saw Kingsman, The Secret Service twice in the theaters. I mean, but this movie is this this is this is hands down the best action movie I have seen in such a long time. It might be one of the best action films I have seen in all my life. Directing and the editing, the cinematography is just beautiful. Oh my god. This is what we need in action movies nowadays, people. This is what I've been complaining about for the longest time. And now, finally, George Miller comes back. Gives us those old school roots. Practical effects. 90% practical effects. There is one a little bit of CG and green screen, don't get, don't get me wrong. But it's handled beautifully. The Even the visual effects are beautiful. I mean, it's just so realistic. And I, and I love... Heroes that just get beat down until they just can't stand up anymore. But they keep getting up no matter what. Like Indiana Jones and Mad Max in this movie. Played now by Tom Hardy instead of Mel Gibson. Who I thought lived up to my expectations. And I thought he was really, really cool. It was hard to know who was more crazy. Me. Or everyone else. Fun fact for you that the actor who played in Morton Joe in this movie played Toe Cutter, the original villain in the original Mad Max movie.
fun fact for you guys, in case you didn't know. His villain is just awesome. He's kind of a mixture of Darth Vader and Bane. And Bane's in this movie. Tom Hardy plays Mad Max. That's kind of a connection I just started there. And for the negatives... Yeah, I got nothing. Okay, guys, I, I, I'm ready to give this grade. You ready? <clears throat> okay, I'm ready. Mad Max Fury Road gets an A+. Please, people, go see this movie. I, I am begging you. For the love of God. For the love of God. Please go see this movie. Seriously, guys, please go see this movie. This movie is very good and it deserves your money. So, guys, if you have seen Mad Max Fury Road, let me know what you think about it in the comments. And if you are going to go see it, let me know what you're going to expect and what you want to expect from this movie. And as always, until next time, I'll see you then.